Hey guys, it's Steph because who else would it be? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're good. How are you? How are you doing? How's your fam? How are your pets? Let me know down below. In today's video, we are trying out one of the most expensive brands I think I've probably ever tried, which is Byredo, as you can tell by the name. If, if it's, I think it's probably gonna be in the title of this video. Either way, we're trying out Byredo. This stuff is so expensive. Like, they don't have too many products. If you guys, let's do a little backstory. We won't. Blah, 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 blah. It's basically like you may have heard of like Byredo candles and Byredo fragrances, but yeah, they recently ish, it came out quite a while ago, but they recently brought out makeup and it is so pricey. Like, we're talking, actually, take a guess. How much do you think a standard mascara is? Tick, tock. I feel like we're on countdown right now. This is about 40 quids, which is madness. Like, I still rate like £2.50 mascaras from Primark. The, this better be good. However, I have seen online that the reviews generally aren't great. So I wanted to try this out for myself, let you guys know my thoughts. Realistically, do you need a £40 mascara? No, you really, you really don't. The packaging is nice. I mean, I suppose it kind of has to be for how expensive it is, but uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to review it, see if it's actually good, see if these fancy rich people that are buying it are just a bit picky, or yeah, just if maybe just see if it actually sucks, and um, yeah, it's kind of it really, it's kind of the gist of these videos, isn't it? So um, let's get into it, shall we? We shall. Right guys, before we fully dive into today's video, this portion of the video is sponsored by HelloFresh, which you guys know I love. Literally like 80% of the food that I eat on a weekly basis is from HelloFresh. Without them, I would probably just be living off of like super noodles and toast. That's it. If you guys don't know about HelloFresh, which I am mildly judging you for, how's that rock you've been living under? I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it, but before we get into it, I do actually have a discount code for you guys. So if you use Stephanie Toms 24 I will put it on screen and also down below as always alongside the link. You will get 60% of your first box, which uh, that is over half price. Quick maths. So yeah, you'll get 60% of your first box and then 20% off for your next two months. And the mysterious Maybe potentially the best bit, you'll also get free gifts. I don't know what they could be. They could be a puppy. They could be food, most likely to be food. Don't think they're gonna go and put a live puppy in a box. Don't do that HelloFresh. And yeah, if you guys have been living under that rock and you don't know about HelloFresh, it's literally food delivered straight to your door in one box. So basically you choose your recipes and I think they have like 44 different recipes every single week or something. So there is something for everyone. They have things like calorie smart, rapid, super quick meals that literally take like 15 minutes to make. They've got street food. They have different like special occasions foods. So if it's like Christmas, they kind of go for like a Christmas vibe. They have like Mother's Day, Easter, loads of different things like that. Halloween, I had some like Halloween hot dogs a couple of months ago, they were great. And one of my favorite things about HelloFresh, aside from all the things that I've mentioned, is the fact that there is minimal waste. So literally, if you need like a small little piece of ginger, they will give you that small little piece of ginger. You don't then have to have like a whole piece of ginger that you're probably not gonna use and it's probably gonna go off in your fridge. And it is good. Okay, the most important thing, the food is so good. Like, I love spaghetti bolognese and I thought I could cook a spaghetti bolognese, but now I've been using HelloFresh for like a few years, my spaghetti bolognese game has upped. Like the level is up there because there were so many ingredients that I didn't even think about putting into spaghetti. And now I've done it, I'm like, oh, that makes a big difference. So yeah, the food is so good and it's very, very easy to make and there is minimal waste, minimal cleanup. It's literally a dream. And it's also cheaper than the supermarket. Like it genuinely is. And that's even before the discount. Obviously if you use my discount, it's gonna be even cheaper, but it's literally cheaper than going to like the supermarket, like without even factoring in the price of fuel or anything like that. I mean, you guys know Chefany Tom's. That's me. She's been loving HelloFresh for years now. I literally, like even without working with them, I buy it every single week without fail. And if I go on holiday or something, I can just skip a week. Like it's no problem, you just press a couple of buttons and it's like, okay, no worries, you can get it the week after. Or you can skip like a few weeks or you can like change the like amount of meals you want per week or you can change the amount of people that you're feeding every single week. So you completely change it up. And yeah, I just love it. Like I don't know how I will ever go back to not using HelloFresh because it just makes things so much easier. And like I said, saves me a whole load of money and it's delivered straight to my door. So it's perfect if you don't wanna leave your house like me, cause I'm a little hermit. I don't know what this is. 
So yeah guys, if you've been on the fence about HelloFresh, I mean, it's the perfect time to try it because obviously it's like the new year. You can implement a few different like meals to try out and like mix up your routine a little bit or you can save a bit of money that way. If you guys do wanna try out HelloFresh for yourself, then don't forget you can use my code, which is stephanietoms24. And like I said, you will get 60% off your first box and then 20% off your next two months and some free gifts. And I wanna know, message me on Instagram, what your free gifts are because I'm curious. I don't get any free gifts. Where, where, where are my free gifts? I, I wanna know what you guys are getting. So please DM me or like leave it in the comments down below. Let me know what you get. Cause I, I have gotten like a free gift once and it was Tony's chocolate. So I'm manifesting that for you. But yeah guys, don't forget to use my code to save yourself a whole load of money and get yourself a whole load of good food without even leaving your house. Click the link down below and check it out and use my code stephanietoms24 to save some moolah. Okay, let's get into the video. Hello again, welcome to my beige face and pom pom ears. For my base, by the way, I use the very old, very impossible to get hold of, Marc Jacobs concealer that I'm running out of and I'm very upset about it because I love it. And this little guy from L'Oreal under my eyes. So we have, oh, let me just go through some of the products. So we have an eyeshadow product. I, I, help me, help me. We have an eyeshadow product, AKA eyeshadow palette. We have got uh, a lipstick and uh, okay. They're very expensive. Again, nothing needs to be this expensive when it's literally just makeup, but it does come with a little dust bag, which I respect. It's like, thank you. That is well worth all the money that I just paid because now my lipstick has a pouch. Thank you very much. We also have these little like color sticks. I believe you can use basically anywhere on your face. I've got a liner and I've got my super expensive mascara. So not too many products to try out today. I'm gonna start off with these color sticks because I want to try them on my face. So this one here, is called coal, I don't know what that word is. Coleoptera, co col coleoptera. I've never heard of that word in my life. I, I am a firm believer that that is a made up word. Um, but it's like this deep warm brown kind of shade. I don't know how this will look at me, but we're going to try it once I get all this hair off my face. Let's see, I'm gonna put just a little bit on and see how it blends out. I feel like it is gonna be quite sheer when you blend it out though, which should be good. So yeah, you can use this on your lips, on your eyeballs, um, anywhere I suppose. But let's see what it's like. It doesn't exist. <laughs> let's see what it's like as it disappears onto my face. There's a tiny tint. Okay, let's go in with a bit more. I just don't want it to be like red on me because it is a little bit kind of red. But if it is this sheer, then it should be okay-ish, maybe. I mean, it's really, really sheer. It doesn't really look that much different at all. And the packaging is nice. Once again, so it bloody should be. Like, it's one thing to have an expensive brand, and then when these expensive brands make their packaging just the most basic thing in the world, or something that scratches, or it just gets really, really grubby or something. I'm like, I mean, I'm the stupid one because I, I do pay for it for videos, but that's the beauty of expensing things. But yeah, like the packaging is good, but this product in particular is just so sheer that you're gonna need a lot. And then, I mean, how much product do you actually get? You're gonna need a lot of that, especially if you're using it on your face. So yeah, that, I mean, if you were using it as a lipstick, why not? Let's just try it. Works as a lipstick, okay. I don't want it on my lips right now, so I'm just literally gonna blend that back in. But yeah, if you're using it all over your face, you're gonna be running out of this hella, hella quick. It's like giving me a slight little tint, but it's not done anything really. Just rub that off and wipe it on my trousers. Yeah, you can see it's added a little bit of color, but no way near worth the money. This one looks all right. Let's, hmm. We're just gonna keep going around in circles and hope that something happens. Does it exist? Ooh, might have wasted a lot of money here. There's there's like no pigment in this. If this was like, I'm really sorry Barredo, if this was like a Poundland product or something, or an Essence product, you'd be like, you know what, it's cheap. I have to use more, but it looks quite nice. But this is not cheap. This is, this is like remortgage your house kind of expensive. If your house costs like 
25 quid. So yeah, not a fan of those. They're not doing anything horrible to my skin, but they just, they just look like barely anything. Okay, we're now gonna move on to eyeballs. And this is probably the product that I am most excited about. And it's also the most expensive. It's this little eyeshadow palette, which once again, it comes with a stunning little bag. You're basically making your money back with this one here, lads. How do I open it? There we go. The packaging is dope. You can tell that costs a bit of money. Like that I can imagine isn't the most expensive thing to make. This, you're gonna have to get like a new mold and all of that. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm literally just trying to figure out why this is so expensive. The packaging though is good. I do really like it a lot. And these are the colors that I have here. The palette is in the shade Corporate Colors. And I think it looks pretty nice. Let's do a couple of swatches. This green looks stunning. Mm -hmm. Might regret saying that. Um, it looks all right. It looks a bit sheer though. I'm sensing a theme here with some of the products. Um, let's try this matte like burgundy. That looks okay. Sheer again. I've wasted a lot of money, haven't I? Can you see the regret in my face? Well, so I already went ahead and primed my eyeballs with my P. Louise base, and I'm gonna start off with the like burgundy shade, like, literally like, the only matte shade. That's going in my crease, because it's all I've got. Make sure that's all blended. Okay, let's see what we got. That's better, okay, that's actually better than what I thought it was gonna be. See, sometimes you actually do have to try the products, but what happens when you buy the palette for 50 quid, and you try it and you don't like it. That's what I'm here for, lads. You're welcome. Doing God's work. Okay, I'm just really, really like smoking it out. It does look a bit patchy though. Like here. Like as soon as you start to blend it, it just goes so, so sheer. Like what? My friends, you're honest. Some of you are sometimes too honest in the comments, but it is what it is. Well, this is not worth 50 quid, right? Th this is not. No, but um, we're still gonna try and make the most of it. Okay, I'm gonna blend a little bit more of that in a minute. I'm now gonna go in, I think, with the dark shimmer on the outer corner here. Let's see what we can do with this, oh my God. Bear in mind, that was my 10th swipe. There really is not that much product on the brush here. Oh, come on, dude. There's just like, no pigment really in any of these products. It's really not. Okay, using the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the greeny shade and put that more so on the center. Oh, there's barely anything there. Come on, we're doing it. We're just gonna scratch straight into it. It literally looks the same as the dark color. They, it's just got slightly more greeny sparkles in it compared to the other one. Oh, damn it. Like. Do you really see any difference here on my lids? I don't think you do. It's like they literally just went fancy packaging. That's worth 50 quid. Don't worry about what's inside. No one cares. Okay, we're gonna go back in with a little bit of that matte shade and try to blend this out a bit. I'm literally sat here doing this, trying to think of things to say other than just being like, what the hell? Like, obviously you can see it, but it is all just blended into one. You can't see any like different color on my lid. It's all just like a dark gray, browny, red kind of shade. And I really am just like, I'm actually a bit lost for words because I'm just like, what's the point? Even as I like try and blend it out with a clean brush, it just takes away loads of the product that's like here. Like, can you guys see that? That was once filled in and now it's just not genuinely one of the most difficult eyeshadows I've ever tried to blend. There just is no blend, it's just patchy as hell. The only way I can actually get this on my lid without it being patchy is by like slapping it right on there, like really opaquely, but if you want any kind of blending, good luck with that. Right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go with this, whatever I'm trying to say here. I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade here and try it right on my inner corner. Even that sucks. Honestly, don't buy this. Like sure, there are other eyeshadows and stuff that I've tried that are worse, but the amount that this costs, it is just not worth it. If you guys saw in my recent Yes Style video that I actually had a palette, I think it was by a brand called Katkin, that was quite similar to how this looked and it was really, really good. So like, if, you, if you're after the packaging, maybe try that out. But yeah, this is just, there's nothing 
good for me to say about this. Okay, we're gonna carry on blending in a minute when I'm like finishing up the rest of my face. But now we're gonna go in with the liner. And this is actually one of the products that I've heard the worst reviews about. So, oh, got it wrong way there. This is called the eyeliner. It's just, it's just called the eyeliner. And it's in the shade Practical. I believe this is just a brown. Right, let's try and cover up some of this. That wasn't too bad. Quite pigmented, it comes off the nib quite easily. It's not skipping. That, hang on. Unless this dries down like a crackly little mess, that's actually all right. I don't even normally like these sort of liners, but that's actually not bad at all and really quite easy to use. So if you could just stay like this and not pull any sort of pranks, Mr. Eyeliner, that this could be a little bit of my saving grace. I'm gonna do a little inner corner moment as well. Yeah, this is actually the first product that I actually quite like. Again, Spenny, it all is, nothing new there. But I do quite rate it as long as it actually like lasts. But it was easy to apply, great color. That's actually decent, thank God. Okay, we're now gonna move on to quite possibly one of the most expensive mascaras I've ever tried. This one is the Astronomical Mascara and it's a volumizing one. So you've got a little curved wand there, plastic bristles, hoping this is good because it does look like a, a sort of one that I I relate with, you know, like I relate. Do a little zoom in for you. Okay, it seems to be grabbing my lashes. Like I can just like feel a little tug. Oh, oh, I mean, again, don't want to get too excited about this, but it does seem to be doing something. It's adding a lot of bulk to the, like the roots of my lashes. Yeah, this looks good. I rate it. For your sake, for your bank account's sake, I don't think you need to go and spend around 40 pounds on a mascara because it is kind of giving like L'Oreal telescopic lift, which I love. So I am liking it, but it's just like in the back of my head, it's just like expensive, expensive. I know, babe, it is very expensive. It is nice though. I do like it and I will use it. Okay, let's move on to the lipstick, one of the last products that I have. In fact, I think it actually is the last product that I have. So this is called Reunion and it's a matte lipstick. Very nice packaging, let me just show you properly. It's a little bit curved, like so. It's very heavy as well and I've got this like rosewood sort of color. Let's give that a little swatch. That looks pigmented, cool. And I'm just gonna put this over my lips first and then I'm gonna fill it in with any liner afterwards. This looks good, this looks nice, and you're not using loads of the products like when you're actually applying it. And it is very, very pigmented with just one swipe. It's actually a really nice red color. Obviously, the liner's gonna come in a minute, we're just gonna sharpen everything up. That is a really nice red color, I actually really like that a lot. So you know what? Maybe if you wanna buy someone a special gift or something, or you wanna treat yourself, and there's one color in particular that you really, really like, I can understand it. Like if it's like a lipstick that you wear all the time and then when you use it, you feel like bougie and you're like, oh, let me just use my fancy lipstick. It is a good product as well. Obviously it's spenny, but I do understand this a bit more. If you can find like a certain shade that you want or whatever, this is quite nice, you know, like I actually do quite enjoy this. This is actually quite nice, but uh, yeah, everything else I'm just like, you could save yourself so much money. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I feel like we pulled it together a little bit. This eyeshadow is really, really bad actually, which is not great because like I said, this was 50 quid or something. Yeah, everything kind of did pull together a little bit. It's not the worst makeup in the world, but for the price, it's yeah, it's really not good. I didn't add anything else to my face. Like, I feel like I could do with a little bit more um, blusher and bronzer and a little bit of highlight. I did use a tiny, tiny little bit of the light like highlighter shade from this palette on my cheeks. But I didn't want to add anything because I just wanted to show you guys what it actually looks like. Even when powdered down, you still can see the blush a little bit, but it's very, very natural. Once again, very expensive. So um, yeah, I think we all know my thoughts on this. Great packaging, cute concepts for like some of the products, like mostly from the packaging, but like obviously having these sticks that you can use kind of anywhere, that's great. The lipstick was really nice. The product, like some of the products were decent, like the mascara, the lipstick and the liner are actually pretty good. But again, it's like one of those things that you can definitely find a better mascara and a better liner 
that's way cheaper. And again, same for the lipsticks, but obviously, like I said, if you did want to like treat yourself and have a specific lipstick that makes you feel fancy that you use all the time or on special occasions or whatever, I do get it for that. But nothing that I've used today is anything you guys need to rush out and buy because in terms of the actual formulas and stuff, it, this, it's just nothing special. It's like they just put all the effort into the packaging and then the actual products themselves a lot of time weren't that great. So uh, hopefully I've saved some of you guys some money. Can't say the same thing about myself, but um, th again, thank God for being able to expense things. It's literally the only silver lining that I have, wasting all that money on makeup and I can just go, well, well that's, that's all I have. So uh, hopefully I saved you guys a little bit of money there. Just go to like Essence or Primark or whatever, cause you'll be able to find products that are literally just as good and like a 10th or more of the price. So yeah, I'm gonna go and sort out my face a little bit. I'm off to go and get my nails done. Finally, I haven't had my nails done for ages, as you can probably tell. But yeah, I'm gonna go and do that. As always, all the products will be linked down below if you guys wanted to check them out or if you just fancy just wasting a little bit of money. Like, I get it, I get it. I, I was that person literally like two weeks ago when I got it. But yeah, anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it here. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful or if you're just grateful that I saved you a bit of money, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Stupid thing.